Good morning, welcome to the vlog. I actually just finished a workout and I'm heading into the shower now to get ready for work, but today is a work from home day, so I get to exercise in the morning and calmly get ready for work. So I'm just gonna do that and then I'll chat to you, but welcome to today's vlog. Okay, so I'm done showering. I need to still do my makeup, but when I work from home, now in the winter time, I make a hot water bottle every morning. So then I put that on my lap while I'm working in the morning because it's freezing and we don't like to put like the heaters on. It creates more moisture in the air, which feels like things are damp, which creates mold in my opinion. So I'd rather do this, but it's cold and I really wanted to do the washing now and I just checked the weather and apparently it's going to rain majority of today, which I don't really know the weather app is a little bit strange sometimes, but I'm not gonna take the chance. So because the thing is then I don't, the clothes just don't dry properly and that annoys me. I don't like it when the clothes has to hang there for like a long period of time. Um, so I'm most probably only going to do washing tomorrow. And it's like days like today where I wish I had a dryer to actually just put the clothes in the dryer, but we don't have a dryer. So I am reliant on some sort of sun that comes through. And the thing is, I do need to do my washing. So. I'm going to have to do it tomorrow. It's not raining tomorrow, but it might be still cloudy. I don't know. I need to figure something out, but I'm not going to wash it now. And I really wanted to. Anyway, let's go do makeup before I do my Bible study before work starts. So, my hair feels dirty, which is weird because it is only Wednesday and I washed it Sunday evening. Normally my hair is still fine, but it feels a little bit like oily, but I'm not gonna wash it right now. I think most probably I'll wash it Friday morning maybe. I used to wash my hair once a week, but now I actually wash it um, twice a week because I just feel that it it needs that. So I'm thinking washing it Friday morning and then I always wash on a Sunday evening before the week starts. Anyway, I'm just putting it up in a clip like that because I like my hair to be out of my face when I am actually working. I despise it being in my face. Hello. Hey. Sometimes the bunny comes into the bathroom, comes and greets me. He most probably is seeking some sort of attention or food maybe, but it's not his food time. It's way too early for him to want to have his breakfast now. So he needs to wait, even though sometimes he hustles for his food. But I kind of try to, you know, give it at the same time every day, create some sort of routine. Just putting on my sunscreen. I just have some like very cozy clothes on. So normally when I work from home or really on the weekend, and every other day except the days I go into the office, I only wear this like soft glam from Catrice, which is like a whatever filter fluid, which feels like a very, I don't know, light tinted serum situation. So I love this, like a lot. This is fantastic. I haven't ever used the Charlotte Tilbury version of this or the e.l.f. version of this, which also have a lot of great reviews but this is also great so I just don't know how that compares 
but I just put some of that on, you know, just to give my skin some color. But it's super lightweight and very easy to wash off as well. Because when I normally wear this, I don't pack on the powder and stuff. So by the end of the day, when I take my shower and need to take off my makeup, this is very easy to wash off way like foundation foundation sometimes you gotta like triple cleanse to get everything off so i love this okay then let's do some bronzer i also use the catrice cream bronzer i've used it for the longest time it lasts so long and i do love it it blends really well it kind of melts with whatever you have underneath foundation or you know cream or whatever so i really like it and it's very affordable and i'm saying that not knowing what the price is but i'm pretty sure i would not have paid a lot for this and essence and catrice makeup is quite affordable according to me and also for what the quality is i would say they do a pretty good job so i really like this i'm not going to pay thousands of rands for things that really do exactly the same thing i feel like that's ridiculous and i could never justify doing that when you can find these really great alternatives then just a little bit of blush i think in my previous video <laughs> i ranted just about the fact that this situation is not great because there's so much product in the cap and i don't know i'm gonna get it out but i do love this so much because a little goes an extremely long way as you can see i did not put a lot on and my cheeks are cheeken <laughs> okay and then we off to do brows and mascara and then we're done i am the first to admit that i am not a good <laughs> eyelash curler person I would say I can't clip I'm so scared of kind of pinching my lid that then I don't get all the hair to actually curl so I feel like some of my eyelashes never hit the thing to actually do the curl but I'm too scared that thing freaks me out still so I am going to do my bible study now I'm just on time I like to and not rush when I do it so i have ample time and then i am going to start working but i want to quickly show you my desk setup because i changed it and then i will get with my bible so basically <laughs> my desk used to always be here if you've watched any of my previous vlogs it used to stand here and the couch and stuff was all moved that way but we swapped it brought the couch a little bit more this way and put the desk by the window because we got this massive fat sack that we got gifted and we don't have space for this. The apartment is small and that thing is massive. It doesn't look massive now there, but it's big. So we kind of were forced to, otherwise this thing would have had to like stand in the middle of the carpet and I wasn't gonna do that. So now I'm working by the window. So I'm gonna lift both blinds so I can get, you know, some sunlight, well, there's no sunlight today, but in theory, if there was some sunlight in while I'm working, which I'm very, very excited about. And then in summer, if it's too hot, I can drop the blind because these are blockouts, so they work really well in summer. Anyway, that's my setup, but let's get cracking with the Bible. because I'm starving and I haven't like I had my nachi this morning but I haven't really gotten up I've just been drafting away so I'm like so hungry so 
I have the air fryer on, you can most probably hear that. This is so tasty. I would say it's the same as a LaCroix, you know, those kind of like, um, I don't know, sparkling water with flavoring in it. So this is a mandarin flavor. I like anything orange, not cheap flavored, but there is no kilojoules sugar, anything really in this. So it's just sparkling water with flavoring. So this is very refreshing. So I'm going to have one of these with my nuggets. And then I want to show you this. We don't really buy eggs. We don't eat egg. I don't eat egg. Jason isn't, you know, like he's not bothered. He'll eat it. But it's, he doesn't ever like ask for it. But I saw this recipe on Pinterest and everywhere else actually, to be honest. But it's like a Starbucks dupe of those little egg bites that they sell. So I found a very simple recipe on Pinterest and I made a whole, like this container, container was full of it, but he's had some like every morning. So it's just eggs with, I think we bought the chives cottage cheese and little pieces of bacon and salt. That's it. So I put it in the blender and then I put it in the little muffin pans and then I baked it and apparently it's really good. If I could eat egg, I would eat these. So every morning he has two bites. So you just pop it into the air fryer and then it's nice and crispy in the morning. And he eats that before work because now he started a new job. So, you know, his schedule looks a little bit different now. So I told him that it's good that he eats in the morning, even though I don't really. I feel like it's good for him so I made these and he said it's a it's very tasty cottage cheese is kind of expensive according to me according to us and our budget so we bought the Crystal Valley cream cheese from Checkers that was the cheapest we could find but it was still 42 or 43 Rand for a container and the recipe asks for a container and a half so for us that's expensive but it did make I think eight of those egg bites so I guess it's fine I don't know anyway it was a success though so now he has something to eat before he goes to work in the morning because he doesn't like to pack lunch so as long as he eats before he goes it kind of helps him through the day and then he eats when he gets home late afternoons but I am starving and I am scared of raw chicken or undercooked chicken so I put in my <laughs> chicken nuggets chicken strips any of that for almost twice as long as the kind of label of the box says because I'm always scared of something to be like undercooked so I'm impatiently waiting for that to be done. Then I'll quickly eat and then get back to work. And then I will chat to you after work. We don't have any exciting plans, but I might watch some TV and read a little bit on my Kindle tonight. But I exercised this morning. I don't know if I said that, but I exercised early this morning just when I woke up so I don't have to exercise this afternoon which I find to be good because normally after work I'm tired don't want to really do any kind of those things just want to take a shower and chill and that is what I'm planning to do today so I'll chat to you after work good morning I didn't end up vlogging last night because we after work we went for a drive by the beach and stuff so I decided I'll end the vlog this morning but it's another work from home day today and I need to do the washing today I know I said yesterday that I wanted to do it but it was pouring with rain yesterday like pouring with rain so I am going to do it today because I think it's only raining maybe this evening but there is apparently some sun coming out today and i 
am in desperate need of washing some clothes I will wait with the towels and wash the towels maybe tomorrow maybe but I'm just gonna chuck in all the clothes because I cannot any longer and I need to get it to be washed so because we have a small apartment I can't wash too many things at once because I don't have enough space to hang up that much that's why we wash more regularly smaller kind of bundles of washing so if it piles up too much I need it to two loads but I don't have enough space to dry everything so I can only wash what I can dry because no one wants wet clothes to like sit so let me put this in um, okay now for the washing liquid okay I'm going to use the Omo one this is just the Omo auto washing liquid I'm gonna use this one we normally use this one the Willys one it's always on special and it's relatively affordable but I the Omo one was on special the other day and I had to check this I think so we decided let's try a different one okay that's all done Jason actually made me coffee this morning early before he left I think maybe he made me coffee around five ish and I was still sleeping this morning because I didn't exercise or anything I was I don't know why I'm I don't want to say exhausted but fatigued I feel very fatigued I also did yesterday so I had some electrolytes but I don't know why I'm so extremely fatigued so anyway I don't normally sleep you know till late but I did this morning anyway so I just heated up my cup of coffee now so I can drink it because it was cold by the time he was gone already again sorry I didn't end the vlog last night but we kind of you know went on our little beach drive and stuff and I kind of forgot and they knew watch some TV afterwards but today is another work from home day so I'm just gonna be here I think I'll exercise most probably after work today just because I now didn't this morning which is fine and then on this weekend actually I have a dentist appointment to get those bite plates things mouth quality things when you sleep and you kind of grind your teeth I am finally going for my appointment on Saturday morning because it's bad it's so bad I'm grinding my teeth and I haven't it's a recent it's a recent thing because I didn't ever used to especially not this bad so I made an appointment for that so I'm so excited and also it's so nice that the dentist is open on a Saturday and it's early I think I'm just really one of the first appointments they have and I can get it over with and I still have the whole day and it's just all sorted out so I am doing that on Saturday which is exciting for me at least and then I need to read my book I need to read my Kindle um, so that is also the plan for this weekend but it seems to be a rainy couple of days that's ahead of us not today but from I think Saturday or Sunday all through the next week it seems to be rainy every day which I obviously love but it's a nightmare for washing so I need to get everything washed in these days before it starts raining so that I don't need to stress at least a little bit for next week seeing as we don't have a dryer but one day we'll get a dryer anyway thank you for watching this vlog and I will see you in the next one